I recently reviewed the Robust Goods Titanium Apple Watch Ultra Band and you guys loved it. And so I thought uh, it would be a perfect time to show my Apple Watch Band collection, let you guys know um, what I have and how I'm wearing each one. Um, I wanted to start off by saying, so this is my one of my favorite watches. I used to wear it whenever I'm going somewhere that's a little fancy that requires, you know, not a smartwatch. And I really love it. What a lot of people don't actually know is that this is a G-Shock watch. So if you guys are interested in how I converted this G-Shock into this nice stainless steel uh, dress watch, uh, let me know and I might uh, show the secrets uh, in another video. But for this video, I'm gonna show the bands that I'm using for my Apple Watch Ultra. Um, like I mentioned, I recently picked up this glow band um, and I'm excited to show that. Um, and so I think out of all of these, so this one, I think this is the, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the Alpine Loop, um, if I'm not mistaken. This is the one that actually came with the Apple Watch Ultra. So I usually just put it in here, lock it there. It goes on the wrist like that and then I go ahead and I clip it like so um, if you're interested in this Apple watch face this is actually uh, an app called Lumi which you know if you're a photographer it tells you uh, when 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 is the next golden hour so in my location the next golden hour is in about six hours so uh, there's that um, I don't really care for this band, uh, mainly because, um, I don't know, I feel like if it gets wet, it takes forever to dry. And as you can see here, it's a bit of a hassle to uh, put it on and take it off. Uh, so it's not my favorite, but uh, this was the one that came with the Apple Watch Ultra itself. Uh, and I mainly picked this one up because uh, it would... Uh, I guess ship the Apple watch to my house the quickest um, if you guys are camping out for Apple products you know how it is sometimes you have to settle for a color that you don't like so you can get your device faster um, and so that's the story behind uh, this uh, green watch um, if I was a hiker this would be a perfect um, hiking watch um, over to the right here I actually picked both of these up on Amazon I think it might have been 20 bucks for the two of them uh, which isn't a bad price um, the actual Apple version would be probably like 60 bucks each so I think for 20 for two uh, is not bad um, and it's not it's a pretty decent band like I don't have the original so I couldn't tell you how it compares to the original uh, what I can tell you though is I've had it for a while and it's there's no complaints um, it matches almost perfectly uh, in terms of the band itself and the actual uh, Apple watch uh, no complaints. If I'm wearing a light color, maybe I'm wearing some blue jeans, I might throw this one on. Um, like I said, $20 for two bands, you really cannot complain. Um, so this is my trail loops here. So I got two of those. I got one in like this light gray and blue combo and then one in like a darker gray and a black combo. Uh, this is the one that came with the Apple Watch. Um, I did a review on this one. So sometimes uh, if you're going somewhere, you want to wear your smartwatch, but you don't want to look childish wearing uh, a smartwatch with a suit or anything like that. I think this is where something like this really comes in handy because uh, you can dress it up or down depending on how, how you choose. And so it just slides in here. fits just like that so I like it I enjoy it I know there's some other um, titanium bands this one was really affordable um, coming in at about 60 bucks um, I know um, Sandmark has um, has their own version as well as Nomad but that's gonna cost you at least 200 bucks or more uh, but for $60 there's really no complaints um, I've had it now for maybe Things December so I've had it for almost five months now um, and it's held up um, 
little scratches, but I think that's normal. It matches the Apple Watch perfectly. Uh, so really no complaints. One of my favorite watch bands to wear as I'm, you know, if I'm going somewhere nice and I don't want to wear uh, my sports bands. Speaking of the sports bands, if you can see, I have three right here. Uh, and that's because Nomad just does such a phenomenal job uh, with their sports band. Um, so I originally had picked up this black one first. Um, it holds up really nicely. I've had it maybe two years now and it really doesn't even look like that. Um, it fits great. What I like about these is that uh, it holds up. Um, it's really breathable. Like if you sweat or anything like that, it doesn't really um, it doesn't really bother bother you very much. It's, re it's really breathable, um, easy to clean, which makes it a phenomenal uh, band, sports band. Uh, another thing that I like with these Nomad bands is that you can mix and match them. So because I have three of these, uh, we can see some different colors together. So let's see how the black and orange look together. So this is the black and orange. So if you are a Chicago Bears or a Clemson fan, like I think this would be perfect, right? Um, just put it on just like that. You kind of got like this two-tone uh, black and orange vibe going on if that's your thing. Um, if it's not, then you can, you can just wear it uh, all together. And so this is how these look. I like that it matches the action button there. I like to wear this band whenever I'm playing basketball, <laughs> uh, mainly because I guess the bright orange makes it easy to find me on the court. Um, but yeah, this is my sort of like my basketball band. Um, I enjoy playing, playing hoops in this one. It matches the color of the, of the basketball. Last but not least, the inspiration behind this video is this Nomad Glow in the Dark Sports Band. Now this will fit your Apple Watch Ultra as well as any 44 or 45 millimeter Apple Watch. Um, in the light, it's kind of like a key, a key lime green color. Um, it's a very light green. Um, Maybe, maybe you want to mix these, mix, mix these two. That'd be a nice little vibe. Um, I recently picked this up. Uh, Nomad launched their new Glow in the Dark series on the 23rd of, um, of April. So this is pretty fresh off the press and they sell out fairly quickly. I would not be surprised if they're sold out by the time uh, this video goes live. Um, I actually ordered it back in March, um, but there were some issues in the inventory. And so Nomad was like, hey, you know, we're actually launching a new line, um, new Glow in the Dark 2. Um, are you interested in being one of the first persons to grab it on launch day? And I said, absolutely, no problem. Um, no, these bands are a little bit pricey. Um, they're 60 bucks a piece. So, you know, you have to sort of like be sure that this is what you want to, to really get. Um, but I, I, I really enjoy it. Um, I really enjoy these bands uh, and I think you will too. So let me know in the comment section below. Uh, do you own any of these bands? Um, if so, uh, which ones is your favorite? If you don't, um, are any of these bands interesting to you to where you'd want to go and pick them up? Um, let me know. Um, I'm interested to see what Apple does this year with their lineup. Um, I know they came out with the Apple Watch Ultra 2 that was, I, would, I don't want to say it was a big fail, but uh, it definitely didn't go as folks expected. Um, thanks for watching. If you got value out of this video, don't forget to subscribe, uh, share it with a friend, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.